Hello, and welcome to Advent Daily Prayer with Kindred Church. I'm Leanne, and this is the 16th day in the season of Advent, when we prepare our hearts for the arrival of Jesus. Thanks for being with us today. Today's scripture comes from Philippians, chapter 2, verses 5 to 11. Adopt the attitude that was in Christ Jesus. Though he was in the form of God, he did not consider being equal with God something to exploit. But he emptied himself by taking the form of a slave and by becoming like human beings. When he found himself in the form of a human, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God highly honored him and gave him a name above all names, so that at the name of Jesus everyone in heaven, on earth, and under the earth might bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Consider this. The story of Advent is a story of ordinary people. Humble people. People without power or prestige. People without a claim. And this was equally true of them before the birth of Jesus and after. Not even the event that divided history into B.C. and A.D. changed their status. The shepherds kept shepherding. The innkeeper kept his inn. Joseph continued to be a carpenter, and Mary, a devoted homemaker, wife, and mother. No one sold his story to the tabloids or started a blog. No one became a social influencer or blew up the Internet. Even Jesus the star of this show, lived an ordinary life for 33 years, working alongside his father, building things with wood. 33 years at a time in history when people rarely lived past their 55th birthday. Today, we'd call him a very late bloomer. Just an ordinary person who only began living his calling well past the midpoint of life, who became famous only through his death and resurrection. The ordinary is celebrated in the people of Advent. The humble working folk who never made a dime off the miracle they witnessed, the miracle they gave birth to, and raised as one of their own. Never gained fame or fortune for the part they played in the miracle of Christmas. Never collected royalties from the annual telling and retelling of their story. Ordinary people who call us into the same extraordinary story they were called into 2,000 years ago. The story that transformed them and guaranteed their memory would be preserved for the next 2,000 years and counting, even though they neither considered this nor cared. Their focus was on Jesus, God in human form, humbled into servanthood, one of them. And because of this, they were content to return to their ordinary lives, praising God, knowing they'd already been given the greatest thing of all. And this can be us, too. Let's pray. God of Advent, help us to find in you everything we need to live lives that we experience as rich in purpose, love, and hope. Help us by the power of your Holy Spirit to recognize daily that you have lovingly called us into the most amazing story ever told. Help us to be people of Advent, with our focus on the peace, joy, love, and hope you offer through the birth, death, and resurrection of Jesus, in whose name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you'll join us again and make this part of your daily routine during the Advent season. For worship service times and more information about Kindred Church, check out our website, kindrednc.church. Happy Advent, and have a great day.